moment and thank you and uh let me see Virginia, but uh, are there also some re representatives of the media, journalists, photo reporters? Uh, we were expecting some. Ah. Rodolfo, tell me. Yes, uh, is is there a message with the uh, fire sitting in the standing in the water? Yeah, it's okay. called Nadia. It's a part of the project. Okay. We interviewed her, another woman, uh, some minutes uh, before. Uh, very touching uh, words from uh, from them. They shared their own experience. With the uh, with us. Okay. Mm. Merci. Do you want to add something? Sorry. Vinya, how many protesters are there in this moment? Uh, right now we have around 10 people in the place. Uh, and here is Nadia Paskauskas, the leader of the uh, protest, uh, the co-founder of the Youth for Ukraine organization that is leading the protest in support of Ukraine in Upper Peninsula in Michigan. And, and how, how are the protest, how are the how is the public taking the protest so far? Um, can you please rephrase the question? How is the public taking the protest so far? 
Um, I think at the moment we are having about uh, 10 people in the place and uh, last Thursday we held an art auction uh, for charities in Ukraine, for NGOs like, for example, UK from Detroit that helps orphanages in Ukraine with humanitarian aid and we have around 70 people visited our art auction and purchased uh, the pieces of art that Nadia collected across the Upper Peninsula, the United States, and Europe. Thank you. Zinia, what? Go, 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 go. Go, Mercy. Go, you first. Okay, I just want to ask is there a, a, like, um, one of the people that are performing the protests, are there some who have relatives in Ukraine at the moment who have gone through the same? Uh, sorry, please, can you say your question again? I'm asking if uh, there is uh, one of your partners during the protest who has a relative in Ukraine or a friend who's gone through the same, the rape in Ukraine. I think it's the same question again. I'm sorry to be doing the outside. Sorry? Uh, can you please ask your question again? I'm sorry to be doing the outside. Oh, okay. I'm asking if you have uh, one of the partners in the protests who have relatives or a sister or a relative in Ukraine who may have uh, a, a more detailed uh, scenario of what is happening. Uh, Adelina, she's from Ukraine. She's from the city of Zaporizhia in the East Ukraine and her family thankfully escaped Zaporizhia uh, but they spent a few weeks in a bomb shelter because uh, the city was continuously bombarded and shelled by the Russian soldiers. Thankfully they escaped and they are now in the western Ukraine and Adelina may share your experience, her experience and feelings and thoughts about that later, I think. Thank you so much. Uh, Zinia, did you, uh, did you have the, the chance to explain the reason of your processes to the public institutions there in Michigan? Uh, did you invite uh, them to participate? Of course, we are uh, having a close connection with local community, including uh, church organizations, libraries, and churches. We are also doing a work. We are also in a continuous dialogue with our university, Michigan Tech, that supports us and provided us requested facilities as well as the departments and universities. Uh, yes. So we do have support from our community and we are very thankful for that. And we are reaching out to local media, newspapers, uh, institutions like university and uh, local NGOs to support us, to spread the world, to support people in Ukraine, to support refugees who are coming to here, to Upper Peninsula from Ukraine, who did a long way to travel here to safety, to escape all the atrocities done by the Russian soldiers in Ukraine. Thank you, thank you, Zinia. So there, are also, yeah, there are also pictures. I can see pictures from people from Ukraine, right? There are real testimonials. Yes, yeah. Yes, uh, we collected pictures and put them with permission of protesters against rape as a crime against humanity, against rape as a weapon of war. And uh, we printed these pictures and put them as well here, as well as posters and signs. We also have 
um, an exhibit of toys and little shoes that represent all the kids mm -hmm. that won't go to school that unfortunately will never be born because of the Russian brutal and barbaric shelling and invasion and rapes and murders. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Maybe Nadia wants to say, wants to say something, I think, or not. Would you like to say something? Yeah, 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 you're welcome. Can you put it in there? I don't have hands. Hello again, Nadia. <laughs> You need to ask me a question. You need to ask me a question. Uh, please introduce yourself, Nadia. Hi, again, my name Hi. is Nadia Pakowskis. I'm a co founder yeah. here. Hello again. Hello again, Nadia. Hi. We are uh, standing here at Lake Superior. We just finished our 20 minutes of silence worldwide with women of Ukraine. It's beginning to rain, and it was symbolic for me because the skies opened up, heard our cries. This is a monumental moment for everyone. It is important that we stand together to recognize the atrocities that are happening right now in Ukraine that have happened for the last 90 plus days. Can you please let that sink in? 90 plus days, this country has been brutalized, terrorized. The women, the children, and the men there have continued to be brutalized and terrorized. The weapon of war, so many variants, but right now we're talking about rape, the most brutal, degrading, demoralizing weapon of war that there is. That is why we stood today. That is why we're standing here at Lake Superior. It's 42 degrees, and we are out here in the rain to support women around the world. We have about 10 people that have joined us. We are honored that they joined us, but I know that there's many more at home, and I know there's many more worldwide. This is not just our movement. This is the movement of women everywhere. It is the movement of mothers and grandmothers, sisters and brothers, all who suffer. When one of us suffers, it is a cry to humanity for help. We all must hear that cry and we all must act. Does anybody have any questions about our This is extremely important for me. My heritage is Lithuanian. My father escaped World War II in Lithuania in World War II. My family ran from the Russians. Members of my family were raped by the Russians. Members of my family were sent to Siberia. My poor aunt has suffered 70 years of night terrors because she was a young girl during the war. This is what happens to the victims of war. Not only those who are brutalized and raped, but those who have to witness it and see it. This kind of trauma never leaves you, and it impacts everyone around you. That is why today we have pamphlets on how to survive rape for victims who have witnessed rape. We have flyers. We have psychologists available. We have, again, Stanford University, Nova Ukraine uh, started a fundraiser. We have SEMA started a fundraiser. We have doctors in Europe taking care of these women who have been brutalized. And we have the whole world praying. I will not discount that. It is important that we recognize and bring awareness to this horrible atrocity that is happening. That is why women of Ukraine began. That is why we are standing here in support of women in Ukraine to stop war rape in Ukraine. And I am honored to have worked with these women over the last month to be part of this movement today. This is the beginning. And when women's voices are heard, the world will change. So for me personally, I have worked in Bosnia Herzegovina, I've helped with victims of Burma, of Kosovo, and other places, and it is something that truly is tragic and truly deserves to be heard. Those in Sudan and South Africa, every girl, woman, boy who has been a victim of rape, we stand for them today, those that are alive and those who have been silenced. And when I was standing there, the heavens opened up, and for one brief moment, there was a ray of light, and then the rain came. This is how much it impacts the universe. The universe cries for everyone who has been impacted by war and rape. And we are impacted. If you don't believe you are, every time someone in the world suffers, humanity suffers. We have to stand together to stop this. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you say I'm? Yes, I hope. <laughs> Even though these atrocities and brutality happen in the world, it is important to understand that people like Shenya, like Kathy, like David, like Miriam, like Oksana, like Nadia, like June, like Svetlana, like Jenny in Australia, like all the women in Paris who stood up at the Eiffel Tower, like people in their homes that are working hard. When you look at the eyes of a child, you see the hope for tomorrow. We cannot give up hope. So my message for women everywhere and children everywhere and men everywhere is that together, together we can finally make a difference and together we can stop these atrocities from happening. Together we can let voices be heard and when you hear a voice, you value the human. And that is what we're doing today. We're valuing Vera, 83-year-old raped in Ukraine. Mm there's problem connections the stories be heard and you'll have to know more thank you thank you for allowing us to join this movement and the hope is each other oh, thank you thank you uh, Zinia, um how how pe uh, how can people uh, uh, follow or, uh, or stay in contact with uh, Nadia associations, uh, her movement to support her um, for women in Ukraine. Uh, the, does um, thank you, Rodolfo. Yes, thank you. Uh, is there a website? To Sorry. Is there a website uh, to contact uh, Nadia and her movement? For anyone who can who can who want who wants to cancel to, to, to support their activity. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. It just started training, so the weather conditions are a bit severe. Um, yeah. Can you please repeat the question? Oh yes, no problem. Uh, is there a website uh, from which uh, anyone who is interested in supporting Nadia Nadia's activity, her movement? Uh, to join her. Is there a way to contact the moment website? Please. Our Facebook group is called Yupa to Ukraine, and I am now going to broadcast the last moment of our silent process. Okay. 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 Thank you. We had 20 minutes of silence, and we had already surpassed that 20 minutes of silence. Right now, we are just honoring. So we're taking this moment to speak to our people that have come today to honor those women that have perished. To take that moment to talk about the victims of rape and how they can get counseling and to talk about what is actually happening in Ukraine. So now that the 20 minutes of silence is done, we're starting the action for the world. So I wanted to thank everybody again. Our Facebook number for Ukraine, that's F O R, not the number four, F O R Ukraine. And our Gmail is Upers for Ukraine at gmail.com. We're happy to assist anybody with further information. Thank you again for being here. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks so much for sharing your experience with us. Thank you very much. And thank you, thank you. much, Z. Uh, so, yeah. Mercy, sorry. Um, maybe I, I interrupted you before. Sorry, do you want to add something? Uh, can, you, can you say it again? No, I, 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 was, talking, I was talking with Mercy, with Mercy. My colleague oh, and the friend. Uh, maybe, maybe I interrupted her before. I didn't realize. No, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Please share everything you want with us. Uh, thank you very much, Rodolfo. It really means a lot to us that we can share what we are doing here, that we can join this worldwide yeah. movement against yeah. the rape as a weapon of war, against the rape as a crime against humanity. Yeah, and absolutely. we want to show our solidarity with women across the globe. There's the victims of rape, there's the victims of the Russia's war in Ukraine. And we want to show that People around the world are not alone, and here we are standing in our little town in the upper Michigan, but we are here 
we are listening to you and we are hearing you and we want to show our solidarity and our support to people, women and children across the globe. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I'm going to lock off as the yes. conditions are getting yes. quite yes. good and no problem. I can Thank never turn up. Thanks so much for Thank sharing you your much, experience yeah. with us. Thank you very much. See you. See you. See you Thank soon. you and have a blessed day. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye. Bye Virginia. Thank you. Wow. Okay, merci. It's yeah. been a very important experience. Uh, uh, we all uh, we all feel uh, excellent from this experience, enriched uh, somehow, and uh, it's very important to raise awareness in such a such a, a topic that involves everyone in the world somehow, uh, because this kind of violence has no colors, no differences in the world. And once again, sorry, I maybe I interrupted you before. You wanted to do something. You wanted to share something from your perspective, your idea, your experience. Sorry, okay. Uh, and can you repeat? There's a bit of, of noise here. Can't hear <laughs> No problem. No problem. It's a real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What I was, what I wanted to say is. Uh, even when we had the post election violence in Kenya in 2006, there was also, uh, it was bad. There were rape cases. It was a lot of pain. Yeah. Uh, neighbors stand into enemies. So I understand where they're coming from. I understand the pain of it because we experienced it here. And the sad thing about it is for us, it happened amongst ourselves. We, because we have different tribes, living in Kenya, we, we find uh, tribe A killing tribe B, tribe B, uh, raping tribe, uh, tribe C. See, it was, it was really bad. So I understand where they're coming from. And honestly, war is never good. There's a lot of pain from children to generations to come. Like she said, even the witnesses of this, this crime, of this act, they're also tortured. You know, some 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 would even rape a kid in front of the father. They are killed in front of yeah. the father. Or, or rape the wife in front of the husband. So it's not something that, it's not something easy. It's, it's a pain, painful thing that I'm going through. And you only hope that as, a, as, as the world, because all of us have, not as, even men are raped. We have men and women being raped. And we need to say no to it. And we need to support them in the cause of protests against rape in Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. And I'm only hoping that even uh, that there are some people in Ukraine women and men who are against the act. I'm also hoping that there are some soldiers who are also against the act. I would want to interview such, such people because they're going to give me hope that they are still, they still humanity to Ukraine. They still some people who have a heart. Yes, so, yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you, Mercy. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's all for the moment from TVC and TV. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, from me, Rodolfo Palati, and uh, Mercy, uh, it's goodbye for the moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.